I'm going to show how to uh, use the paint program to uh, edit, to put an animal head on a portrait. And this is one that I downloaded from the internet. I didn't do this one myself, but it's an example of what I'd like to do. Okay. I actually have prepared some items in advance. Um, I actually did a whole bunch of these last year and it was kind of uh, obsessive, you know, it, it was really fun to do. So I'm going to do an example for you. I have a bunch of completed ones, but we're just going to jump right in and I'm going to show you how to use paint, the paint program uh, to edit um, the, you, you know, uh, to put an animal head on on uh, one of these portraits. Okay, so I have a little library. I removed the heads from most of these. This, this first one I actually downloaded, but the rest of them I edited. It can be very time consuming to edit. For example, this headless Queen Elizabeth I, um, uh, editing this rough uh, so that the, the lines were tolerable, uh, that took a lot of work because um, having a complicated rough like this does make it difficult to remove the head in preparation for plopping an animal head there. Okay, so anyway, um, I, you know, I did a bunch of different, I removed the heads from a bunch of different portraits. Um, one of the most successful was this Mary Queen of Scots. I, I took her head off and um, the little white dog head that I put in there, a Chihuahua mix looked really good. Um, someone thought the people hands were creepy. So I actually edited it using paint so that I cut her off here at the waist. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this one. I've never done one using this one before. Right click on the picture you wanna edit and open with paint. All right. What I'm gonna do is open three different files because I, in my frenzy last year of doing these, I removed the heads from many of the family animals. Okay, and I found that it's it, what actually seemed easier to just white out the space around the head. In early in the early days, I would actually re, you know take this and copy it into another paint file, um, or I'd remove everything around it. And I found well you just have to get a bunch of white space around your animal head. Um, this dog was because she was darker colored, she faded into the background. Initially, um, she was this, you know, the photo was darker. And so I used just the Microsoft photo thing and uh, lightened her up a little. It still was a little too dark still. Um, but anyway, I had a bunch of you know family animals whose heads I you know removed, or maybe sometimes I would flip them horizontally using paint, and you know get them to face the other way. Um, so it kind of depends on on what you're putting the animal's head onto. Some like some blurrier pictures might work okay, and some might not. But I'm going to. I think I will use. Um, I think I'll use this picture of Gigi. I'm going to open it with paint. So I right click. I use open with paint. So now I've got the Gigi picture opened up. I'm going to open my one of my accessory files, this Pet Portraits miscellaneous files here. I've already looked and I've decided I'm going to use one of these crowns. Uh, once again, right click, open with paint. All right, so now I've got three files open. I've got the torso, the accessory, and Gigi's dog head. Okay, let me move Gigi into the frame here. All right, and I'll shrink it a little. Okay, so paint is very handy. Um, it's good for editing photos. If you want to, you know, do meticulous editing, there are apps, you know, that do it faster, but I've, you know, and because I, I don't want to, you know, I don't know, I, I'm content with, with just using paint. Um, all right, so let me center this, make sure I've got enough room at the top here. Just gonna go click on my Gigi photo here. And now you, she's the only thing in the image. So I can go up to this dotted box here 
and I can um, click on image, select, um, and I guess I'll do rectangular. Well, I could select all because she's the only thing in the picture. If there was other were other things in the picture, I could um, just do a rectangular selection or a freeform selection. But I'm just going to select all just because she's the only thing in it. I'm going to copy it. You can either go to the clipboard and click on copy or you could press control C. OK, so I copied that and then I clicked in my torso file. OK, I paste it. It's huge. OK, I'm going to shrink it a little bit, shrink it some more. OK, this was a very nice high definition photo. And notice I kind of messed up the, you know, the, the balance. So that's one problem with paint is you could end up making your dog's head, you know, super fat or, you know, very wide and, you know, unrealistically. Notice she's about the size she needs to be, but there's a white box around her. Here is the secret, you know, important thing that makes this easy. You go to image, go to select, way down here you do transparent selection boom the white around her head disappeared okay now if you have a weird little spot that you didn't get rid of that might be about right it's better to have the head a little too big than too small um okay all right so once you unclick though you're stuck Boop. all right like i said i have this weird little white spot that was there I don't like it. I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to pick my eyedropper. I'm going to grab a little piece of paint from the next door neighbor there, and I'm just going to fill this in. This is just one way you can do this. There are other ways. Anyway, I got rid of that little white spot I didn't like. Let's look at the whole picture. Oh, very noble. Let me, I had that crown thing opened up. Let me grab a crown. So I'm going to do a rectangular selection. I am going to um, copy this crown. I'm going to paste it into the other file. It's already on transparent selection. I am going to shrink the crown to the size of Gigi's head. Oh, it's going to be at a jaunty tilt there. Okay, I think I still need to make it smaller. We don't want to be obnoxious with our crown. Oh, yeah. All right, Gigi is looking gorgeous with her crown. And that's it. Okay, so half the battle is getting the head, dog head cut out and things like that. But I can go over that in a future video. And that is all.